Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. And you may see from the title which we've just done that I have been really, really busy today. And that is because Christmas is on its way. And you know what? After the absolute, whatever you want to call this year, it is just going to be absolutely fantastic just to be able to celebrate Christmas and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can all enjoy it in a safe way and something like what we all normally do year after year. Um, yes, okay, we're in November, so it's a little bit of time of explaining to do, I think, on my behalf. So I always start my Christmas preparations super, super early. For me, it starts in the start of September. So a lot of people may think that that's still summer. And yes, absolutely, it is, of course. But when you've got so much to do and so much to buy in the cards and decorations and preparations for the festive season, it's time to start early. So for me, I always start around the September mark. The first couple of weeks of September is when I start. And what I start to do then is I start to buy different gifts. So number one, so it's not all a huge expense. So I absolutely go all out on Christmas. I always have done and I always will. Christmas for my family is a huge momentous event. It literally is an event, to be quite honest with you. Um, and it's just spectacular. It really, really is. Everybody is really really christmas crazy in my family and that's amazing the house is always dressed up to the nines so much goes into the decorations the tree we always have themes in each room um and everything is dressed up to an inch within its life um of every decoration very classy very traditional very tasteful um and a lot of preparation goes into it. my mum's usually the <laughs> usually allows other people and i say allows because she doesn't usually allow anybody to touch the christmas tree but I do help, I have to admit, and we always like the Christmas trees, and I say trees because we have more than one, cram packed. But of course, that's a little bit too early today. So what's the date? It's the 13th of November. So you may think that this is still a bit too early, but for me, I'm getting a little bit of a palpitation because I haven't got my wrapping all underway. So all of this, what you can see behind me, this is just a small amount of it, I have to admit. Um, but I have got so many gifts to wrap. So that's what I've been doing today. So I've had a day of holiday um, uh, today from work um, and I am wrapping bows, ribbon, you name it. I absolutely obsess over it. So it's got to have sort of, it's got to be matching. The paper's got to match. The pattern's got to match. Um, the gift bags, the bows, the ribbon, that type of thing. And I absolutely love it. It's a passion of mine. I have to admit, I love wrapping a gift. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But I absolutely love it. I think there's an art and there's a finesse behind it. There really, really is. Because I truly, truly believe if you're going to give a gift to somebody, it's not just the gift inside. It's the expression and the sort of emotion you put into the wrapping, what, what sort of bows, what ribbon you pick. And it sounds crazy, doesn't it? But that's just me. I like to go absolutely all out on the wrapping, the decorations. My cards, for example, they take me ages to buy. And I don't just buy a cost has nothing to do with it. The words have to be right. But you could you could <laughs> you could probably say I invest a lot in Christmas cards each year. And my gifts, for example, I don't just buy one gift or two gifts for my brothers or for my niece, my nephews. Um, my nan, my parents, for example, it's many. So this is a chunk of what I have to wrap. And yeah, it looks it looks a looks a medium sort of amount, doesn't it, behind me? And it's strange while you're seeing um, carry bags over things. This is the bags which I bought them in, and it's showing up as orange here, but it's gold. I don't know why that is. Um, and I I cannot stand. I'm very OCD on cleaning and dust, so everything I wrap has to be covered. Um, I cannot have any dust or anything over it. There's not any. There's no dust in my house anyway, but. Um, everything has to be covered. So this, I'm just in the process of covering. I've got gifts here on the floor, which I'm just about to put up. Um, I still haven't wrapped everything at all. Um, but I don't have to, I don't have to panic. Of course, it is only the 13th of November, but there's lots to do. Um, and of course, this year, more so than ever, because um, we've had all of this with the coronavirus pandemic and because we've hear, heard so many horrific things happen with people and so many people losing their lives and they won't be here this festive season. Um, so my heart really goes out to those people. It really, really does. And I think it's just important. I always take a moment to think just how privileged and how and how thankful I really, really am for everything in my life. Um, I really, I have had a real bad time myself, actually, in regards to health problems and things, even, even getting things like my wrapping papers and things like that this year, which means a lot to me. It's a silly, silly thing, isn't it? But this year, my mum has been absolutely incredible and chose 
um, because I'm finding it very difficult to get out and about at the moment with the honey related problems in my groin and the pain in my leg and things. So I am upbeat and, and positive, absolutely, because I think you have to. There is always somebody worse off than you. But this year I'm finding it a little bit more difficult. So um, my mum's been absolutely uh, a godsend and, uh, and a true, as she is a true blessing. Um, and she really, really helped me getting all the things I've needed. Um, uh, for me, and uh, it's just abs absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, and, and it's strange, it really, really is strange because it's like, take this for example, I don't have a plan to show you this, but for example, my sort of wrapping papers, uh, me, my wrapping papers and things which I choose are, I don't know if I've got them actually, I've got a bag of wrapping stuff behind me, by the way. Um, it's just, it's crazy because I always try to pick. Um, yeah, uh, wrapping paper which matches the person who I'm giving the gift to. So, for example, I would have absolutely chose this for different people in my family. I don't know if you can see it, but as you can see, these are from Paper Chase, and they're just the most beautiful sort of winter patterns. And I mean, just absolutely incredible. I would have picked that. I would have absolutely picked that. But yet, my mum picked that, which I find absolutely. You can just tell how how that bond, that relationship you have there, don't you? When you're almost thinking the same thing. And I mean, me, for example, I always got to have matching sort of tags, and um, this is really, really. When you're spending this much, three for two helps, doesn't it? <laughs> it really, really does. But honestly, I am, and that and that, that is literally nothing. That's literally nothing. I mean, wrapping paper after wrapping paper, I have, and then of course, not forgetting the tissue paper. That is most important. Most important, so all lovely wrapping paper, um, tissue papers, I have to admit, got to have red, haven't you? Absolutely, got to have red. Um, and literally, oh, well, you see my bows, everything here, it's just over the top, isn't it? But it's not, because that's what Christmas is all about. And do you know what, I really, really think that when Christmas comes around, it's so, so important that we slow everything right down. We slow everything right down, and we enjoy the small things and we enjoy the time of our family and we enjoy just it can just be a quiet afternoon a christmas film on a glass of something or a cup of hot chocolate with your parents with your best friend with your partner whoever of course when we're allowed to outside of the lockdown restrictions which we all find ourselves um affected by this year of course but it's it's so so important that and I've all and I always try to say this, that every day is a gift, every day is a true blessing. And I think this year more than most that that really does hit home and tell us all that. So I think this Christmas, I really do hope, and I'm sure it will, it will be for my family, that the whole this whole sort of how special it is will really be vamped up because of course everything which we've been through this year just makes makes us more it makes us value things more i think it certainly does me and i know it certainly does my family for example that beautiful puppy behind me on the wall as you can see there last christmas i had my alaskan malamont saber he fell asleep on january the 27th and he had hip dysplasia and he had he had some health problems but never in a million years did we think that last christmas would be his last and that's, that's, that's really difficult. I think of him every day. And, um, this is my room and I have a, I have another portrait actually of him on just slightly over on the wall here, which you can't see, but that is me. Um, and that's Savadori. That's Sava. Sava. I always used to call him either Savakins, Sava, Savadori, Babe, Puppy, you name it. And he was just days short of his 12th birthday. So I say that he was 12. Um, he had a real privileged life, and when I look at him, it makes me smile. Um, he's always there. I know he's always looking down, so he's there. He's there, absolutely. But I think as we move into the festive period more, um, all of these things, don't they, they start to become quite raw. Um, it always is for me with my, my nan, who I'm so, so close to, and of course lockdown has affected that because I haven't been able to see her as much as I normally do. Um, I just can't wait to see her again. It's been, again, it's been a little while, but I'm calling all the time to make sure she's okay. But it's not the same as being there and putting your arms around your loved one, is it? And of course, that affects so many people in this country and around the world at the moment. This clip was all about Christmas is coming, which it certainly is indeed. And let's just slow life down a pace or two. Let's appreciate the small things. 
and get wrapping. <laughs> That's what I've been doing today. I took a whole day to do it. And um, I have to admit with my, my um, help from things at the moment, it's not as easy as what it usually is for me. But I've got a lot to do. I've got a lot to crack on with. Um, the lists were written back in September. <laughs> I have to admit, all my Christmas shopping is near enough done now. I have to admit, that's near enough all done. Um, it's just the wrapping and the preparations and things. My cards have all been ordered. I know, ordering Christmas cards. <laughs> um, and and yeah, for me here in the UK, I usually spend a, a good fair amount on cards alone. And my family, my brothers, my parents, my nan know that as well. Um, but yeah, this year, of course, will be rather special. And, well, truly, truly special because my little baby niece... Um, Sienna will be fir uh, her first, we say it will be her second Christmas, but it will be her first proper Christmas because she was born at 28 weeks um, back of November of last year. So, of course, she was just and just here for Christmas, but she wasn't supposed to be until February. So she is just amazing. And at 28 weeks, she is a true blessing. Um, but it's really, really quite special because my other niece and nephew as well, who I absolutely adore and think the world of, um, it's their birthday. She was born on the same birthday. And I I hope to God I got this right. It's the 29th of November. I'm sure it is. If not, my niece and nephew, Lacey and Reese, they have the permission to smack me. <laughs> but there we go. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's hopefully going to be a good one with all of this, what we've happened this year. Um, we all deserve an amazing time. And I think from now on, stay safe, look after one another, enjoy life, slow everything down. And whilst we are here in England in lockdown at the moment until I believe the 2nd of December, you can still find the positives in life. You can still enjoy things. And of course, having restrictions on our life just makes us value things even more, doesn't it? It really, really does. Um, so that's that's pretty much it from me. I mean, absolutely. You can feel, I don't know about you, but I, I've already started watching Christmas things. And, um, and on the 10th of November was my first Christmas film. And I have to admit, and it sounds silly, doesn't it? It sounds really, really cheesy, really, really corny, whatever you want to call it. But when they say you can feel Christmas coming, you can. You get that sort of shiver up your back and you can really feel that it's on its way, um, which is just amazing. But um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I hope you share that view as well. I really, really do. On the back of that, thank you very much indeed for watching this clip. It really, really means the world to me. So thank you. And look after yourself, look after your family. And thank you very, very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.